How's it going everybody? Nick Daniels here coming at you live yet again with another video. Today we're going to be talking about uh, Gears of War 5. So let's get right into it. So basically, yeah, I get this Game Pass thing the other day on PC and it's like, hey, you get to play like 100 games or something for like a dollar. Um, that's actually pretty good. I'm not going to lie, that's actually a pretty good deal. So I'm like super stoked. I'm like, dude, only a dollar. Let's see what we get. So I specifically got it for the Outer Worlds because I wanted to try it. Uh, and then, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't, I don't, I'm, I'm so skeptical nowadays of games, so it's like I don't necessarily want to spend seventy dollars, and the game is just shite. So it's like, all right, let's spend a couple dollars, let's spend like literally a dollar, and we'll figure out if this game's any good, right? Also, this guy is just right on me. Oh my fuck, man. Yeah, that's right. Back off there, bud. Holy fuck, man. I'm getting tailgated hard back there. That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, so I tried this Gears of War. It's in the Game Pass, so it's like a dollar. Gears of War. Um, you don't own Gears of War, but you like as long as you have the pass, like you can play it. Is basically what that means. Um, and then I think after this month, which was only a promo, I think it goes up. It, it does go up a few dollars, but it's really not that bad. It's actually a pretty good deal. Not gonna lie. So yeah, so like I said though, we're trying Gears of War Five. Give it a rip. Now uh, I have played some Gears of War One, of course. Beat the game. Played some online. Gears of War Two. Beat the game. Played some online. Gears of War Three. Beat the game. Played some online. Uh, Judgment. Beat the game, played the online. That one fucking stunk. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a fan of Judgment. Um, you know, kind of. Oh, that's even better. The chick that's tailgating me in the back there, she's just texting. I can see her just staring straight down. It's hilarious. Um, yeah, so like I said, so there's that going on, so that's great. Uh, and then you have like ultimate, the Ultimate Edition, which was great by the way. Not, not gonna complain about that, I enjoyed it. Um, and then, you know, well, you know, eventually we got Gears 4. And I didn't actually mind Gears 4. Yeah, yeah, had some problems. But I think in the long run, I think they kind of salvaged a lot of that. And, uh, yeah, they really they really turned it into something pretty good. It wasn't that bad. Like, it actually, it was a half-decent game. And I uh, I actually enjoy Gears 4. I know some people don't. But, uh, yeah, I didn't think it was I didn't think it was terrible. And the Coalition really, uh, I think that's the group who was working on that one specifically there. And they did a really good job, in my opinion. Yeah, they did a really good job, right? And uh, it, it shows. However, this Gears 5, man, it, it, it's trash. Let's just let's just admit it right off the get-go. Let's just call a spade a spade. Um, yeah, it's not really that good at all. And, I mean, I can pretty much tell you several reasons of why. I'm not going to go specifically into, like, this, 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 and that. Uh, I've played, like, a little bit of the multiplayer. Uh, you know, I've played a little bit of this. I'm just not enjoying it. And... You know, and it kind of sucks because I'm, I'm, you know, definitely a Gears of War, I, you know, I advocate, man. I, I really like the games. And, uh, you know, I'm no, uh, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm no hardcore fan. I hate when people are, like, always saying that. Like, oh, I play Gears 1 multiplayer, so I'm a hardcore fan. Yeah, that's great. But, uh, yeah, like, I mean, I played Gears of War 1, and I'm not saying I'm a hardcore fan. I just played the first game and, you know, played the second game and I played the third game and so on and so on. The fifth one just fucking blows, man. I didn't even play the fourth campaign. I, uh, I saw a little bit of it, and I just wasn't into it. I was like, no, nah, no, nah, I'm all right. So I kind of watched it. I got the idea. I watched a bit of five. I got the idea. And I was like, all right, whatever. So, yeah, I get into the multiplayer level five. And, uh, you know, like, so we're not getting into specifics here. We don't need to be doing that today. But, uh, you know, if you want to get, like, like right down to it, um, there are YouTube channels that have, like, dissected that game, like the updates they have, uh, if a Lancer gets nerfed, they're gonna opt it, they're all over it, and, uh, yeah, I think that's funny, so if you want to go see that, though, yeah, they're, they're totally out there, don't, don't get me wrong, uh, but just for my general play time, yeah, I, I didn't really have a good time, man, um, specifically saying the multiplayer just wasn't that fun, you know, the new system in place, nah, not really, they, uh, Dude, I, I found out, so I had to do a little research on this one. Literally over the fucking curb stomp in the game, you have to buy the curb stomp. The curb stomp is like literally a de facto and Gears of War, man. Like every single game, you tap the Y button and you get a curb stomp. Like it, it's just simple and yeah, you gotta pay for that. The microtransactions are just ass. Like, dude, anybody watching this video right now will agree their ass. It's not even like microtransactions that actually like kind of deem a purpose and they're like, yeah, it's actually not too bad. Like it kind of fits. Like this is loot box shit. Oh my God, man. I get so sick of seeing it everywhere. Supposedly the new modern warfare doesn't have it. 
uh, yeah, that's that's going to be interesting. I think that's kind of cool. So, yeah, microtransactions, absolutely awesome this game. Like, I literally logged in, like, day number one, never played Gears 5, don't know what I'm getting myself into, and, uh, yeah, like I said, I log in, and, like, the first thing, it's, like, a fuck 50 things pop up, and it's, like, this boot camp, <coughs> and, like, some weird journal thing that you gotta do, and uh, all these weird things, and emotes, why not, oh, I, I guess emotes are, like, like victory poses and shit and you can like do things in game like you can like salute things and yeah no you know you, you kind of lost me there a little bit and like don't get me wrong I, I understand there are people that like that but like it's just fucking disgusting man it doesn't even need to be in that game that's pretty much my whole point here is that in my opinion doesn't even need to be in Gears of War uh, there was also a guy that I, I religiously have watched in the past uh, who used to just like, it'll just be like a video uh, like of just clips of a game, just shit on no commentary, just just the game, right? And uh, none of the commentary is usually from like directors of the game or something or like what were created, developers. And uh, yeah, it's just fucking gross, man. And uh, Gears of War 5 was no exception. So like basically like the blood and gore was like way down. Um, a lot of stuff in like Gears of War 1 and 2 like, if you, like, meleeed someone, it really felt like you fucking meleeed somebody. Like, they, it, it felt strong. That's the way to word it. Uh, like, if you're, like, a locust sniper and you, like, you start swinging some elbows, dude, like, it actually feels like there's some power. Because, like, the locust is fucking ripped, dude. Like, like that sniper, his, his arm is, like, bulged, right? Like, it's just that big. And it, he's, like, and he, like, if he hits something, you, 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 it, you feel it. Like, he's hitting something. But yeah, like this one, like, yeah, you just pulled some, like, random knife, and you're just like, uh, it, it's fucked, okay? I've also seen the Nasher. I know people are always fucking butthurt about a shotgun in Gears of War, like, it's the only weapon you can use. Uh, but man, that shotgun, it, like, literally, like, two shots you, like, no problem. And it, it's really ridiculous. So there's basically a term for it, but basically when you shoot someone, like, further away with a shotgun, it's going to do less and less damage because you're further away from the target, which is fair. That's pretty That's pretty freaking reasonable that that would happen. Like, if I'm standing five feet away from you and I'm like, boom, it's going to do some damage. If I'm standing ten feet, it's going to do a little bit less damage. That makes sense. Right? So, yeah, like, the whole thing is, like, that doesn't, like, basically exist. Like, the shotgun just still just dominates you at, at whatever distance like it's it's ridiculous and uh yeah i'm not a fan of that that's for sure the uh i noticed all the rifles in the game now grant headshots so like if you're just using a lancer and like one of the stray bullets apparently just like domes them it just instantly gets a headshot and buddy's like out for the count like it's not even like he goes down like it's like literally he's instantly dead like a headshot normally would like say with a sniper uh completely fucking ridiculous i'm not into that at all like the lancers are just too much the hammer burst like all of it it's too much <clears throat> there's a couple guns in there i never even heard of right like some claw thing i was like yeah hey, whatever and uh dude it's like it, it, it's crazy how powerful some of the crap in this game is and there's like an arcade mode you can play. Arcade mode is crazy because if you just start out, you can't you can't even play the character you want. You have to play specific characters to like get kills and then unlock weapons. And then even an assist counts as a kill technically. So like at the end of the day, I have like 17 of like eliminations, but I might have actually only killed two people, right? It's just that I assisted on the 15 others, right? And, uh, yeah, so I'm not crazy about that mode either. It, it's okay. Whatever. Uh, like, just, like, the, the, the fucking auto-aim. I, I guess you would call it auto-aim. I don't know. Uh, but, like, literally, like, I saw a video again of, like, someone shooting someone, like, in the shoulder, and it granted a headshot. Like, with the long shot. Like, it was close enough. I was like, no. Right? Like, no. I, I, that's not how it fucking goes. So, like, there's bullshit like that, man. But I'm just saying, uh, I just have not had that good of an experience couple games I like beasted in and yeah sure it was fun but I wasn't like yeah like wow this is such a great game uh, like the Terminator skin just looks stupid it looks like the skinniest thing ever like I don't know if you guys have seen it uh, but it looks skinny uh, they get the Halo characters in there which is kind of cool I guess I don't know but I'm not really crazy about them either the, like the roster is small uh, I'm hoping 
that that expands to some point because it's like literally like nobody like you've got like barely anybody and yeah then there's like sarah connor and like the chick in the movie that's like augmented and yeah her like her model just doesn't look really good at all i've i i saw a picture of it and it looked fucking stupid like it just looked like a guy with a bad haircut and they just say some really lame things starting out. There's like a couple modes that aren't even that good because I don't remember. If, I'm pretty sure they do have Horde in there. I remember they've got Horde. Uh, but they've got a new like survival mode. I heard it wasn't that good, but nah, I didn't fucking try it. Why bother? <laughs> you know, I'm not going to lie. Like there, there's certain parts of me that's kind of like optimistic and there's other parts that's kind of like, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, but all right. Um, but yeah, I don't know. So I, I just kind of just shooting it out there, but that's kind of what I've got for Gears of War 5. I pretty much said what I needed to say. Um, so I don't know, give the game a try. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. I mean, it's no big deal. Uh, no skin off my back. But uh, I don't know. It's been an okay time, but I'm not. I'm only. I'm only playing it like here and there, and it's just kind of like for like half an hour, like at a time. It's not even like anything serious. I, I don't give a fuck about anything in the game. I literally just jump into some online and just pull up the Nash and try to kill some people. And besides that, it's like yeah, I couldn't really care less. Like I, I couldn't care. Um, couldn't really care about like the skins or whatever i don't i don't give a fuck but it's like yeah i'll, I'll just play the game and enjoy it for what it is and you know kind of go from there and you know i think that's pretty much the best you're gonna get out of it unfortunately um yeah but anyway thank you so much for watching everybody want to see the next video take it easy peace thank you